happy dance, happy dance, happy dance. Wow. Wow. Welcome to Guitar Paradiso, everybody. I'm Ariel. And I am Pete. And today we are looking at some new Fender things that they've brought back from the past. Not from the future. From the past, from for the sure. From the past. From the past, as they say in Canada. And yeah. from the past, as they say here. And yeah. in Denmark, they just say something really weird. Um, and we've got a couple of m different models. Yeah. And um, so we got the duo. So I was playing the Mustang. Playing yeah. the Mustang. And you were playing the duo. Duo Sonic here. Duo Sonic. Yeah. And so, but what? So as you can see, there is difference between Big them. differences. We got, we got two Mustangs. One with P90s yep. and one with single coils. Yeah. And then uh, single coils in this duo and that is a single coil and a humbucker obviously. Exactly. Which yeah. is which is um, I don't think that was in them when they came out originally. <laughs> Do you think that? I'm oh, going to go with was. no. Yeah. You never know, but you never know. But well, they basically these so these guitars were big in what the 60s yeah. and they sort of so the so the Jewel Sonic I think was the first one, wasn't it? Yes. And it sort of came out as as a student guitar. Exactly. Kind of got Got this whole, like the Mustang, yeah. uh, Jaguar, that whole world started with the Duo song. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was used, I think it was, you know, an affordable price. Yeah. And it was perfect for for learning on and people that were just beginners. Yeah. We I'll get, get started the, on it. And, I'll get the Jewel Sonic up as well here. So, and so the difference between the two is that when I just picked them up then, it's much lighter. Oh yeah. The Jewel Sonic is much lighter. And they're thinner, I believe, too. And s slightly thinner. Slightly. So, ever yeah. so slightly. So so this one has got a, a DS humbugger in the back here. It's got a master volume and a tone, mm. right? A three-way switch. Um it's got a the it's rosewood fingerboard. It's uh polyurethane. Mm. Um just reading up of some of the specs here. And it's a C-shaped neck, so it's nice and comfortable neck. I'd say the scale length is 24 mm. inches, so it's shorter. It's shorter than usual. Yeah, so you can definitely feel that, you know. It's a hardtail string through body, like that. Yeah. Uh, they're made in Mexico, um, so get it now before the wall goes up. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you can say that, but you know. Uh, <laughs> um, so if you're, if, you're like, if you're a smaller frame person, yeah. um, you know, these are great and they're light. You know, if Fantastic. You're, you know, I, it's comfy. Yeah, it you, feels good to hold. If you're play. young, if you're a young child, starting like 12, 13, 14, and you wanna you wanna start playing guitar, yeah. you know maybe like a Les Paul is gonna be a bit heavier, a three feet five, or maybe a maybe a, no, a, tele, a Telecaster or a Strat is gonna be a bit too big for yeah. you. These are great. These are great. They're easy and to hey, use. Yeah. Co Cobain. Yeah. Well, sorry, well that's the Mustang, but anyway, so that's <clears> that's a whole different story. So these are these are all at the moment four hundred and eighty five pounds mm. uh, at Andertons now. Links are below uh, and. Um, I, I, I just think we need to hear him really. Absolutely, uh, let's go through them. So I've got, I'm in uh, the Sheriff 44, and I've got a Wombler Tumnus on the floor, and I've got a Wombler Tape Echo, and I've got a Bus RV6 for some delay. And um, it sounds like this on the front pickup. You know, it's kind of that, uh, I see these guitars as like a, indie rock kind of totally. thing. Of course, we played something really nice and smooth and ooh, you know, yeah, yeah, kind of the opposite. In the beginning, kind of completely opposite, but you can do that as well on them. But they get, they have that kind of reputation, haven't totally. they, of, of being trashed around and absolutely. Just getting hammered on, just like yeah, big chords. Like that. <laughs> so anyway, so again here, front pickup. Uh, both pick up together. Humbugger. I mean, that sounds good. That's just great, isn't Woo. it? And that's kind of what I w what I would uh, you know do ex uh, sort of see these guitars and that kind of thing. Yeah. If you put a, a, the boost the tumblers on here, you get something like this. <laughs> wrong with that I mean I mean that sounds great that humbucker great. actually sounds huge really good, isn't it? and it sounds it sounds different doesn't it yeah it's a different sounding this feels nice the switch feels lovely 
Good feeling switch. Yeah, I like it. You know, little knob. So let's see what happens when I roll it ba back off, off the volume. up nicely yeah. nice that's cool man this is a cool little guitar I dig it Geo Sonic digging it yeah 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 um, that's, it's very simple, isn't it? Really, it's all you need. I, yeah, I, I yeah. don't like complicated personally, and I mean, no, you know, it, it's fine. Maybe volume, next. tone, yeah. pick up, pick up, selector. Let's, let's hear, let's hear, hear yours there. Yeah, so same, same model, just uh, single Mabel, coil, maple fretboard, maple fretboard, maple neck, yes. Mabel, yeah. Um, we're into the V40. I've got a analog man king of tone. And a, uh, a Wampler Ego compressor. Ego! So this is without the compressor on and just the red side of the King of Tone. Here's the uh, middle. I love the spankiness. Yeah, of it's it, like very that. spanky. It's also you kind of, when you play, you play kind of behind the back here. You know what I mean? That gives it. Yeah. I, we talked about this in previous videos with picks yeah. and oh, how you yeah. use different picks and where you attack it on the guitar. So many different tonal options. Exactly, all of that stuff matters as well. It's not yeah. just the pick oh, that matters, you know, it's kind of, it's yeah. everything. Anyway. But these two single calls together, like whether you're going. Got that really nice out of phase. I yeah. love it. Single call, uh, sorry, the uh, bridge. Yep. Really, man, sounds great, man. really nice guitar. I mean, a maple maple fretboard. You always get a brighter, bit of a brighter yeah. thing going on. I've, I'm kind of, ch I've changed my my tone a little bit because I love. I used to like uh, rosewood, rosewood, yeah. But now I've kind of gone to. I've got Strat and Atelier with both maple. Yeah. And I, I really like it. Yeah. Because it's just, it's much more punchy and much more bright and much more totally. attack. It's much totally. More there. But it's also rounder and nicer. Yeah. For somehow. It is. I mean. I don't know what it is. It all depends on the guitar, of course. Like yeah. they, it all ranges. I've played some maple boards where I was like, nah. -uh. Yeah. And then some where it was like, even like this, it's like, yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Yeah. And then rosewood is like, that feels like home for me usually. Yeah. yeah. But I, I too have some some fenders where they're uh, maple and rosewood, and you really do tell a difference. And yeah, it's man. really nice. Yeah. Just different colors. Yeah. And you know, like. <laughs> It's sparkly. You know? Yeah, it's lovely. It's, I love it that. It is lovely. Anyway, try this. Just take that. Yeah. Really quickly, and then try to play the same. Okay. Something, something, something of the same. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, massive. That just a bit more of that warmth. Yeah, um, I know this is a humbucker, but nice, beautiful. Anyway, so that's.
that's the Duosonics, and they yeah. come in loads of different colors as well. Yeah. And all of the colors right now, they're gonna come up, appear on the screen as we're holding them. So here are the colors. Like uh, that. See. Just like that. And they, they all the links are below on the website as well. Very awesome. cool guitar. Um, okay, Very cool. let's move on to the uh, to the Mustang because this is is she? Oh, head. I've just noticed something. So headstocks are different as well, right? Yes. So that's more the '70s headstock. That's right. And if you can see, if you can zoom in on that, I think the body on this one is a bit thinner. Maybe it's maybe it isn't, but it looks it's heavier. This is this is lighter than this is. Ah. So. Hmm. 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 Anyway. <laughs> okay. So the Mustangs. This yeah. color is great, isn't it? Yeah. What is that? Finish color, like? Know, like an olive sort of green. Olive, olive green, green. yeah. Again, yeah. there's loads and loads of different colors which would come up now. Mm. I know that there is an orange one which I really, really like the look of. Yeah, I yeah. can't remember if it's this, if they if the colors are the same on on, a, on all of them. Again, we are talking for uh, eighty five, I believe. Uh, price is always at the moment fluctuate a bit so yeah. you will just li look at the links below and <coughs> then uh, then you can keep up there um anyway so this is again same specs kind of thing yeah maple neck on this one um uh, so so the so the pickups on this are the mustang single course they look yep. they look rather suspiciously similar to the uh weird <laughs> hmm, to the duo sonic one so uh so there we go the the it's got different Different uh, knobs. knobs. Yeah. Uh, kind again. of a classic uh, Mustang. Yeah, Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally knobs. Of course, just because um, there was a Mustang in it. Yeah. Um, classic so, look, classic. Yeah. Um, String through body arm. again. Yep. Classic look. Perloid uh, pick guard yep. there. Um, just a great guitar again. Yeah. You know, it's it, got a bigger headstock than the other one. So, yeah. That's the same scale length as well. Yeah. 22 um, jumbo frets. You know, the uh, radius is 9.5. Yeah. It's, it's all, it's, they're the same specs kind of thing yeah. as, as, as guitar. I've never seen a Mustang. Maybe I haven't looked hard enough, but I've never seen one with the P90s. Yeah, I think that's, that's interesting. A cool there, yeah, it's a cool, cool little thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How does it sound? Let's have a listen. Let's have a listen. This is the neck. This is just clean, totally clean. Ooh. Sounding guitar. Yeah, really you nice. make it sound good, man. No. Ah. No. No. <laughs> okay, so Mabel Neck into the uh, Victory 
Serif 44. I got a more, it's a bit of a driven tone there. In the end as very well. Nice. Very nice. I, I just, they're great guitars, man. They really are. Yeah. They look good. Again, that small kind of body, <coughs> fairly light. You know, it, it is light. And they, they don't sound super light, though. They still sound like there's a lot of body in it. You know, you get a lot of lightweight guitars and they you play them and they're like, ooh. Yeah, or smaller body guitars. Or smaller yeah. body, too, but I especially think, ones, yeah. you know, if they're some are chambered, some aren't. I yeah. know these aren't usually chambered. Completely solid. solid. But but it doesn't sound like it. It no, sounds it's great, man. Really it's full good. and nice. Yeah. Yeah, and that string. Th I think that sort of string through body. Yeah, uh, the strings goes through. That. I think that helps with the with the sustain and the, uh, you know, all of that stuff. Totally. Like like a Telecaster. You yeah. feel like Telecaster sometimes. I played a '59 uh, Strat, which had got. They would have shown there was a like uh, period where they just had hardtails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In '59, and right. I played one, and it was absolutely ridiculous. Much more kind of sustain in the guitar, and For I was sure. wondering why I haven't done that to all of them, you know? Yeah. Because you know when you block your st if people block their strats up with a piece of wood, you know? Yeah. To immediately get hardtail yeah, to exactly. try hardtail it. Much more sort of sustain in it. Anyway. Brilliant. Again, loads of colors. Uh, Four, eight, nine on Andersons at the moment. Uh, links are below. You should come and try them out. Try them out. You know, Great guitar. Yeah, lots of different specs, lots of different colors and combinations and all of that stuff. And I think that was it for now. I think. Yeah. Fender Duo Sonic and uh, Fender Mustang. Mustang. Offset. And I was Pete. Ariel over here. And uh, we'll see you next time on Anderson TV and Guitar Paradiso. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.